Girlfriends, we have Deja, our best friend, Jen, the diva, Alyssa, who's just happy to be here on vacation, and Noemi. When I last left you, we were headed aboard the Scarlet Lady for the very first time. Ahoy, sailors! Welcome aboard the beautiful Scarlet Lady, friends. Oh, you like that? You like that? You like all that leg? You're welcome. Okay, so welcome back to the vlog, guy. We are officially on the ship. Um, we just booked our brunch with um, dining services, and now we are headed to our rooms. So, you know what's about to go down? You know what's about to go down? It's about to be a room tour. Oh, this is cute elevator. It's very cute. It's like interior, interior. Inside, it's like inside, inside. Like, <laughs> damn. <laughs> inside, inside. All right, well, let's, let's do it. All right, do this. Yes. All right, we are in. Oh, wow. Oh, that was God. so cute. The light came on. Do you hear? Listen. I hear the little angel music. They said, welcome to y'all. This home. is our room, and I must say, this is very much more modern than any other cruise what? room that I've ever been in. This is so cute. Listen guys, this is gonna be a first impressions room tour, so I don't know every single little detail. We're gonna do a full room tour later on, but let's let's explore together, shall we? Let's start from outside the door. All right, y'all, we are in room 13242M. That's an interior room. We are in. Oh, and then look who we have in the room. Welcome to my humble apartment. <laughs> we got a wild Deja. All right, let's do it. So, closet, laundry bag, shelves, baskets. Okay, cute. Closet, lots of space. Refrigerator inside. Corkscrew, $25. Water for free. This iPad does everything. It's us, cute mirror that changes colors. Wow. TV, ahoy Dejan Vanessa. <gasps> wait, go back. Oh wait, no, you need to hold, hold please. Oh, wow. Okay, wait, we gotta do the moves Obvious. though. Hit, moves. Get it on. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. The TV done went off and everything. Oh. That's not getting home music. <laughs> I cannot. Let's do a photo, photo shoot. shoot. Let's see. What? Softer lighting. Oh. I like Zen. Back to the photo shoot. Let me see something. Oh, it just makes it, it makes soft. It Cute. Pumped up. Pumped up. Okay. Are we pumped? Hangover. Hangover. Yeah, Ooh, make it dark. <laughs> Get it on. Why is getting on all over music? And it sucks. I think it's just supposed to be hilarious, which it is. Okay, and we're back. ADD room tour. Okay, we got a TV. We got extra blankies. We got a little table with the bed bed table. We got this for our champagne chair. More tables. Pillows. Cute lighting. Okay, let's do it. So she is very small. Makeup wipes, sink, black soap, cups, toilet. No room for activities. Shower. Rain, fall, shower head, handheld shower head, products. More room for activities in here. All right, Virgin, so I see. I see what y'all did here with the bathroom. While the toilet and the sink area is very small, um, and there's not a whole lot of storage area, y'all did make a lot of room in the shower and i know why y'all did that and you're nasty now i've got some important safety information that i must tell you hi everybody you better listen up when you want to see you better take it from me you gotta know the safety rules when you hear seven short and i'm on blast when the ship's on there's an emergency 
Well, I have never been so intrigued by a mustard drill in my entire life. So, uh, you want to get a drink? Yeah. When you come to the galley to get your first little food, you come and you sit down anywhere and then they'll bring you these little QR codes um, at your table so you can order. See, it's not the buffet. You don't have to go stand in line, none of that. We sitting down, we being cute like Jennifer over there. Jennifer's got the vibes down. We sit, we wait for food. We don't stand and wait for food here on Virgin. Now, here's the cheat code. You can sit inside and do all that or you can come to the back and there's a whole balcony and there's like nobody back here so we went ahead and got the little vip section um courtesy of deja and um we're gonna we're gonna eat here all right so right away um, i went and got my bento baby um sushi they brought over some soy sauce. Let's try the sushi out. Definitely, definitely spicy on a spicy tuna. Shout out to that. So first impressions of the galley, um, I love the concept where we find a seat, we sit, we order and it gets brought to us fresh. Um, however, it has taken an extremely long time to get food for everybody. Like we've all pretty much finished eating and then Deja literally just got her food like right, right Just now. got my food out later. I'm pretty sure they forgot her burger. I'm pretty sure. While it did take a while to get some of the food, all of the food was prepared fresh and it was delicious. There is no shortage of options in the galley, so every time you go up there, you are bound to find something that fits your diet and your palate. After the galley, we just took a quick walk around the ship to go and see all of the amenities. There's also a nail salon on board, so ladies and gentlemen, if you didn't get quite get your petty in, you can do that here. Well, I don't know if me and Deja would be allowed in that store. Get a tattoo. So there is a casino on board, which I personally did not know about. And everybody's favorite amenity, the ice cream shop, Lick Me Till Ice Cream, was right around the corner. I was completely impressed with the selection of ice creams and the taste. They were delicious. And they had my favorite, butter pecan. At the back of deck six was the dock house. I love this area. It was quiet. You had a beautiful view of the wake when we were out to sea. And it's just a place where you can be grown and sexy, grab some champagne. You can order food. Just lift up this cute Cheers. little flag and Cheers. relax. Okay, so we are back inside from just relaxing on deck six. And now we're heading inside so that we can go up to a room, change, get ready for Selaway, and then dinner is going to follow Selaway. Tonight we're going to Pink Agave. Okay, so our room steward came and uh, separated the beds. They are not side by side like usual. This is what they look like. It's kind of strange because they have us head to head. Mm -hmm. that's, that's a little weird. Yeah. But it does make it more spacious though. It does. Because when it's beds, if both of them were this way, we would have no space to move around. So I actually kind of don't but mind But it's it. really weird to be head to head. <laughs> it's 
just really keep close. your pillow up like that. <laughs> But I'm Stay probably, on I'm your side. Not sleep this way because I can charge my phone. Because I like to have my phone next to me when I sleep. So mm-hmm. I'm probably gonna end up moving it that this way. way. Okay. So. so I am just realizing that I forgot to bring my gorilla pods. So we just gonna make it do what it do. Ooh. Okay. So thoughts on the cruise so far a lot of people have said that you really just have to oh by the way i'm just getting out the shower so we're getting ourselves ready for dinner now um a lot of people i've watched before have said that you have to put all of your expectations for cruising and leave them at home you got to take them out of your head leave them at home because if you go into this thinking it's going to be like any other cruise you're going to be wrong i'm starting to catch that drift as we uh as we go about the day. It's a beautiful ship. It's very modern. It's very like, I like the vibes and everything. Oh, see what I'm saying? <laughs> see what I'm saying? We're gonna get to that in a minute. We're gonna get to my thoughts about that shower in a minute. <laughs> Anyhow. Um, after dealing with a few different places that have service components like waiters and bartenders, I think the service could, could use some help. I, maybe, maybe it's just embarkation day. Everybody's at the same places at the same time instead of dispersed around the boat doing their own thing. It took a very long time to get food. Order even like where I showed you where you like raise the flag, I ended up just going up to the bar because I don't think they were ever gonna see my flag, so. The food was good. I'm excited to see. We just did like the fast food on the ship. Um, I love that everything's included. You don't have to be like, is that is that extra or can I just eat that? Like, if you see it, you can eat it. And I love that. And I'm very excited to see how um, one of the more specialty dining situations goes tonight at Pink Agave. I'm so excited for the margaritas, uh, the, the, the food, guacamole. Can't wait. Okay, I need to do something with this hair real fast. Looking at all the amenities and everything, it's very adult, very chic. I love it. I love stopping and listening and not hearing children. Not hearing the pitter patter of little feet. Oh, we love it. The room, we haven't really had a chance to unpack. Just like by looking at it, I already know it's not enough storage space, period. The beds are lower to the ground. I haven't slept in it yet, but sitting on it, uh, um, first impressions, I feel like this would be a better vacation than like a, a not a vacation. <laughs> well, I think this is a great girls trip though. I really do. Um, but I could definitely see this being a better suited as a vacation or going with your, with your boo. Next time, I gotta book this as a vacation. Base, please fill out the application down below. <laughs> um, let's talk about that damn shower. Um, so there is the, um, waterfall shower head overhead for for the brown and black girls we don't love that we don't need to get our hair wet every single time we get in a shower period it's a design flaw if you're gonna do that at least have an option for a regular shower there is no option for that it's just the handheld thing and i was in there trying to make sure every nook and cranny is clean and i felt like it took me a little longer than i wanted it to i don't love that and if the handheld is if the little nozzles are facing the door do not turn it on because it will shoot you dead in the face. That's what happened to Deja. See? All right, so um, I'm getting ready for sell away. Virgin does leave late in the evening. It doesn't leave until 7 o'clock. Um, dinner's at 7.15, so we'll see a little bit of sell away. They do have a 15-minute buffer on your dinner reservation, so we're probably going to be at dinner around 7.30. But um, I actually tried to change my reservation to 7.30, and they were like... You got a 15 minute buffer, live your life sis. I was like, say less. Look guys, they give you paper programs. Even though they have an app, which we're gonna talk about the app sometime during this vlog. I ain't gonna talk about it right now cause it's making me upset. But they give you paper and I miss paper so much. Um, sail away, six to 7.30, boom, there you go. So getting ready for the party and we'll see you guys up there. Okay, we are finally on our way to the Salaway party. Get us a free champagne. Mm -hmm. A couple of 
like <laughs> as many as we can get away with. I think this is the part in the vlog where I have to make a very decision, a very important decision. What kind of cruise do I want this to be? Do I want this to be a responsible, calm, relaxing cruise where we, we get up in the morning, we go work out, we have like good meals and we chill? Or do I want to rage? Rage. Are we about to be drunk? Rage, rage, rage. rage Look at the devil rage, on my shoulder. Rage, wow. Rage, rage. Wow. Shot, 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 shot. We never stood a chance. We never stood a chance. <laughs> Okay, just so you know, the champagne was free flowing. We had about four, five classes each. They are very generous on Virgin Voyages. Yes, Lord. Whenever you sail with Virgin Voyages, do not miss sail away. Get up there, get your free drinks, enjoy the dope DJ, and wave goodbye to your port of call. I went live to talk to you guys as we sailed away, and then the ladies and I got ready for dinner. We'll see you there. We pick up where we left off at Pink Agave. This is Virgin's upscale Mexican restaurant. The vibes are immaculate, the food is delicious, and the drinks are adventurous. So best friends, why don't you pull up a chair and join me and the girls tonight at dinner. Tonight's shenanigans begin with us trying a drink that is filled with crickets. Yeah, there's two. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, who's gonna eat the cricket? Anybody? Oh, we all eating the cricket. I'm waiting for you guys to get yours. We're all about to go in on some crickets. That's how y'all all get it. You gonna eat the cricket? I don't know. Yeah, you gonna eat the cricket. You gonna pay $16 for the cricket, eat the cricket. So we are at Pink Agave for dinner. We finally made it. We found Jen. Say hey. Hey. <laughs> so we went ahead and ordered all three of our courses. You can get a small plate, a medium plate, and then a large plate. They did say to uh, the small and medium plates are easy to share. So if you want to try everything, everybody order something different. Um, we did go ahead and get the mezcal cocktail that has the crickets. So Jen, myself, and Deja are all going to try the crickets together. I don't know about chewing it. I'm a drink to drink. I don't know about you and the crickets. She gonna eat the cricket. I don't know. She gonna eat the cricket. I don't know. Jen's got her cricket already. <laughs> Look at him just sitting in there roasting. Mm, mm. Yummy. <laughs> so what's everybody's um, thoughts on Virgin, Noemi? So far, I like the fact that there's no kids. Amen. Uh, the DJs have done good so far with the music. I love how everything is so scenic. It's amazing. I love it. The galley. The sushi didn't taste fresh, so I didn't really was it. Uh, but everything else overall has been good so far. Um, the rain shower needs to be a little bigger. If you have to like shave your legs or anything, you're like stuck because you can't move. Are you saying you have to turn the water back off? Can't get my hair wet. I just use the little thing. The rain shower. So, I love the fact that ain't nobody dusty kids on the cruise. I'm sorry. Keep it, I'm sorry. I don't want to cruise with anybody's kids. Anyway, second of all, I love the ambiance. It's very adult, very modern. The, the, the galley food situation, that was that's the only downfall. Because it's like, sometimes I just want to grab my food and go. But it was kind of like a little hold up. But other than that, everything is great. Oh, that's so much <laughs> Four to more cruises with, with the Virgin. Already, we day one and she already wanted to do the next yes. one. Because I love it, no kids. It's great. <laughs> um, so, I'm going to have to say, so far, I think I am converted from Carnival. Oh! 
Oh, oh, oh it's been six <laughs> hours. She already six converted. Hours and I am converted. No kids, number one. Like, that is so bomb. I felt like the sell away party, I kind of miss the line dances with the sell away party. I can't lie. So, we'll see what the pajama party does tonight. But, kind of miss that. Um, but, just the room. It's just a different vibe. Now it's a very inside, inside, inside room. <laughs> but it's just a different vibe. Like I, I think I prefer version. We're gonna have to see how, how the rest goes. So. Yay! More cricket! Yay! Oh my God! Wait! Oh, I'm glad I took the first one. Yo, she got like six. Yo, why you got six crickets? What? <laughs> Look at, look at uh oh, no, why they give me so many crickets? Look at me, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I must have got all the crickets. Somebody was heavy handed. Ah! Alright, to friends, to laughs, to love, to girl, to womanhood, and to our birthdays, and accomplishments, and, and more money. More money. She didn't care about nothing else. That's how I said money, child. She's like, oh, money. Money, money, money. money. Okay. All right, I'm going to try this without the cr crickets on the other side. Yeah. Hold on. Let me just pull myself. The mezcal is. Oh, I love mezcal. You know I love mezcal. <laughs> Drink. You got crickets in here. And mezcal. There are crickets in there. I'm going in for one. You, you taste it? Is that mezcal good? Yo, the drink tastes good. I don't know. Jennifer's going in for a cricket. Okay. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> no taste. Ooh, the drink is good, girl. <laughs> we do it together. We gotta do our crickets together. Come on. Here, hold on. Oh my lord. Oh, I got a big fat one. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Oh, I got a cricket in my hand. Oh God. I got a cricket in my hand. I'm scared. I'm eating the cricket. It's a cricket. Let's cheers our cricket. Oh God. <laughs> No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Everybody calm down. I, I'm not mad at it. Let me go in for a second one. Wait. Not Vanessa going back for seconds, y'all. These, not, these are not bad. Wait. That's hard. It's just so many, though. You can't say not Vanessa going back for seconds and thirds and licking the fingers. They're not bad, but they're not good either. Why is Vanessa crushing on these damn fingers like Cheetos? They're delicious. Ooh. I can't. Look at this. This is cricket, not Cheetos. Girl, you got money blown up to the top in there. Yeah, let me try some food. Okay, after I've eaten like six of them, it's kind of nasty now. <laughs> Um, I have the Camarones, which is shrimp, um, and the medium plate variety. First of all, the shrimp are humongous, they, and they're super tender, they're very well cooked. You know when a shrimp is overcooked, when it's tough, when it's chewy, it's not chewy, it, you get a good bite out of it. Alright, next up I'm going to try the aqua chile. Um, Anybody want some guac? Which is going to be some tuna. First of all, look at that. Look at that slice of tuna. That is a good, healthy slice. It, has, it smells like it has a little sweetness to it. Let's go ahead and go in. That is so good. You guys to the aqua chile, aka the tuna. That is delicious. So far, I mean, even the crickets are kind of delicious here. So for tonight, I'm doing a little surf and turf. I've got my tuna, I've got my shrimp, and then my main course is gonna be the steak. I'm very excited for the steak. I've heard nothing but good stuff, so I can't wait till it hits the table. Do you like it? No. <laughs> I ate, I ate most of my crickets, see? <laughs> I only have seven left now. We went on to finish our entrees. 
all of the entrees on the menu were pretty delicious and I have to say the steak was juicy, tender, and delicious as well. After the main plate came the dessert and I got these choco tacos if you will and they were so worth it. Tonight's show was called Ships in the Night. Well, hello, darlings! We finally made it to Strangers in the Night. Now, why would you sleep alone when you can wake up with someone you just met on a ship? Well, that show was something. I love Virgin. It's the home of the Hoochie Daddy shorts. Yes. If you want to wear your Hoochie Daddy shorts every single day, every single moment of the day, they need to be on Virgin Voyages. They even have the Hoochie Daddy shorts everywhere. So um, we finally made it to the end of the night. We're about to go um, to our rooms, get ready for the pajama jam. And we'll see you guys on uh, the little deck. All right, vlog. First of all, look at the lighting. The lighting making those lines up in here. <sighs> Should I wear this to the pajama jam? Is that too much for the people? Boop, boop, boop. I think so. I ain't gonna get a strike for me. <laughs> <laughs> or should I wear this? What do you think? I don't know. To me, those don't look like pajamas. Like you about to go to the gym. But it's Savage X Fenty. But. Leave it down below. What do you think? Okay. Everybody's in their pajamas. So Savage X Fenty won, even though Deja said it looks like I'm about to go work out. It's comfortable, it's loungewear. It might look like a workout set, but I'm going to bed. Oh, it's too early. <laughs> yes. You gonna be there? Yes. I'm gonna look for you. Okay. All right. I'm gonna look for you. Milk and cookies. Anyhow. Oh <laughs> I keep getting caught on the rail like my, my thing keeps going like inside the pole and shit. <laughs> Okay, so we did eventually make it to the pajama party and y'all do not miss this party on your next voyage with Virgin because this really got the whole thing started for our entire cruise. And don't forget to read the rules on your way in. Let me 
And of course, we hit up the pizza place on our way to bed. Okay, guys, back in the room. I am ready to hit the hay and go to bed. But this has been a fun day. This has been a truly new experience on a cruise ship for myself. And um, I am just very curious to see how the rest of this week goes. Um, you know. A lot of us feel like, you know, Virgin is the new way, like this is our new favorite ship immediately. But you know what? I'm kind of, I'm kind of holding off on that. I'm not going to haul off and say Virgin is my favorite. I know what I like in a cruise vacation at this point, And there are some things that are not quite hitting for me. And then there are some things that are completely exceeding my expectations. So we still have a ways to go. We still have some things to discover and try and you know but I mean so far um, I definitely think Virgin is worth worth it worth the try and um, you know it's definitely for a certain kind of person and um, we could definitely talk about that uh, later on we finished with day one thanks for watching um, I will see you guys tomorrow in Key West which I'm excited to explore. Brand new port for me. Brand new place. Um, I've never been to Key West before. Especially not on a cruise. So I'm excited to show you what um, is in store for you there. If you're thinking about going to Key West. So. Okay, I'm, we're on our way to... Okay, so the cycle class is on deck 15. It has its own contained area. Which is cool. Um, I like that there's so many different gym spaces on the boat so it really just makes you want to prioritize your fitness while you're on the cruise because when everything's just all in the gym like you can just never go to the gym <laughs> and be fine with that you, you don't see it it doesn't exist but when there's so many gym spaces around the ship you kind of you feel like well let's go to one of them you know what i'm saying it's right there but we're only two decks down so we're gonna take the stairs this morning we made our way over to the bike and burn section of the ship and you guys it is so beautiful in here with all these pieces of equipment doesn't it just make you want to hop on and get to work all right so first of all i'm gonna give you shoes so that's surprising Here we go. This is Vanessa, you guys. This is Vanessa with the hair. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> she is okay, she's she's do me again. Do me again. <laughs> you gotta do the hair. Do the hair. Oh, wait. <laughs> First of all, that's enough. Thank you. <laughs> Our class was taught by Bowie and he did an amazing job. I really enjoyed this class. And we got a cute rainbow at the end. That's God saying that you did a good job, baby. Now go play. All right, so the cycle class was fun. What did you think, Deja? I think it was a good class. You know, it was for beginners. 
I, I think it was definitely harder than a beginner's class. It was a lot of climbing. It was mostly just climbing. It was a lot of climbing, which is good. Um, it's not. I mean, it's not Soul Cycle, but but Soul Cycle is somewhere else on the spectrum. It was good. I enjoyed it. This is Bowie. He was our instructor today, and he's amazing. Thirty-four years in the biz. Thirty-four years in the biz. Look at this. Fifty-two, baby. Woo! I can't wait until I'm 52 looking this good. She's out. rocking already. <laughs> I got 20 years to get there. 20 years to get there. Very confident that you'll get there. Oh, thank you so much for a great class. Thank you. Thank you, Vanessa. Let's take a picture. Now it's time to head off the ship and go explore Key West. So we're back in the cool elevators. So asking or answering all of the uh, good questions. What you need to bring, what you can't do, and then where you're at when you arrive where you go to get off and what time are you back on shout out to virgin for answering all the appropriate questions because you know people yeah, stupid cool. up on the ship they love to be dumb on the ship okay we are off the ship one thing i will say about all the cool mood lighting and stuff around the ship and in your rooms is that if you got sensitive eyes it's gonna mess you up because i like i have to wear like sunglasses anytime i'm about to be in like regular lighting let alone out here in the bright like my eyes are like watering behind these sunglasses so i have sensitive eyes so i try to turn the lights up in the cabin as much as i can but they, they don't really get super bright even like my camera doesn't know what it's doing it's like trying to find the light everywhere we go and it's kind of it's kind of interesting y'all know that your girl is afraid of heights so this is going to be quite interesting um i'm doing this for y'all y'all wanted to see a good excursion in key west this is what we came up with so we're going parasailing with virgin voyages and i'm scared i told all of the girls about the parasailing Every single one of them chickened out except for Alyssa. She's really the one I wanted to do it in the first place. So I'm just along for the ride. <sighs> um, I am hoping that once they get us in the air, I will, I mean, I don't have a choice. Like, I'll stay there. I don't, I don't want to not stay there once I get up there. You know what I mean? Like that would be bad if I didn't stay in the air once I, anyway, this. I haven't eaten today, which is probably a good thing. <laughs> um, um, we just woke up, went straight to the cycle class, which is great. Um, so I'm feeling energized, I'm feeling brave, um, but not that brave. So we'll see. We booked our parasailing through Virgin Voyages app. It costs $85 per person to sign up for this excursion. The area that we parasailed was super close and I was actually able to watch other people parasailing the hour before while I was in the cycle class. Now y'all know I'm afraid of heights, so <laughs> let's watch as I head up to the sky and freak out a little bit. They ask us, do we want a little bit of water or a lot of water? And Alyssa goes, a lot of water, so watch us be dipped right here. So I know why you guys came and it was not to watch us fly from afar. So let's go ahead and get my POV. Um, so it's our turn. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. Now I'm looking. Oh, oh we're getting dipped. We're getting dipped. I'm swinging. Oh God. Okay. All right. Okay. We're doing good. We're doing good. I'm not thinking about it. Woo! Oh no! <laughs> it's getting hot! Oh no! <laughs> okay, okay. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm like. Oh. <laughs> I'm like trying to breathe normally. Normal breathing is not, it's not my thing right now. Oh. Okay. Woo! Alright, why are we going into the wind? You guys. <laughs> Look! <laughs> why? 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 <laughs> why? Alyssa's having the time of her life. Please. I'm a little scared. Oh my Where's god. Oh my god, I like it! <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh, we're just going. 
enjoy the sights. We're gonna enjoy the sights and the quiet. Yeah. started shaking the freaking rope while we're up here. That's so rude. That is very rude. I'm scared. Because this rope ain't very thick, you know. I know like nautical ropes are like real strong. They pull boats in and all that. But I'm not a boat. I'm scared. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to make the eggs. I'm not going to make the eggs. I'm going to chill. I'm going to chill. They said if you get scared, make the eggs. Make the eggs. Oh my gosh. We are returning to the safety of the boat. Thank the Lord. This was fun. I did it, guys. Woo! I did it. I did a scary thing. This is almost skydiving. No. <laughs> skydiving just takes your stomach, and no, I would never, ever, ever do that. Um. Yeah. It's gentle. But to me, this is the closest we're getting to skydiving for a while. Yeah, ever. So. <sighs> Gentle skydive. Okay, we're swinging. Oh, we're swinging. We're swinging. Uh oh. Wow. Oh, I don't want to swing. I don't want to swing. <laughs> 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 Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Okay. 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 And we're headed back to the salty water. Ready? Okay. Oh, <laughs> 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 So we're in the galley having lunch now because I missed breakfast, but they had a special chicken wing today, like a coconut chicken wing. Um, Y'all know I don't do coconut, so I asked if they could do them without the coconut, and they could, so, and it's hot, like just straight out, whatever they could do in, so I'm excited about that. Thank you! And I got ginger ale because I got a, a teensy boot seasick on a little boat. Ginger cures uh, seasickness and motion sickness, and so there's a tip for you if you uh, don't have Dramamine or something, get some ginger ale, it'll help. Y'all, these wings are so good. One thing about people from Atlanta, we know wings. We know good wings. I don't even know what this sauce is. There's like 1700. It's good though. Mm. Yeah, and if you like coconut, go ahead and get your coconut wings. Mm. Mm. Round two, back off the bowl. Um, so we, we ate in the galley. It was really good. Those those chicken wings, I'm gonna think about them for a little while long. We're just gonna walk around and enjoy Key West a little bit um, before we head back on the boat for good. We got a few more hours. Oh 
Key West is such a darling place where apparently the people here really love their pets. So the girls and I, who are all pet parents, had to go ahead and buy stuff for our babies and ourselves. Key West is very different from the Caribbean islands that I'm used to visiting because it is still in the US, but you still get an islander flair. There's a little bit of history that you can learn while you're here and a lot of the quirks like chickens and key lime pie that you can learn about and take home with you. And that concludes our day in Key West. We are back on the ship. It's Scarlet Night, but I'm starting early for my red bags because I'm wearing all day. But um, we're about to go hit the pool. But first, I think we're gonna grab some ice cream because it's real hot outside and ice cream. Ice cream will be really good right now. On our way to the pool, Deja and I headed down to lick me till I scream. And y'all know I had to get the butter pecan one time for the culture. And y'all, it was good too. I am not even gonna hold you. That ice cream was bussin'. We met up with Noemi and Jennifer in the pool and relaxed for about an hour or so. It was very nice. The water was very nice. After the pool, we grabbed some quick eats and got ready. So the scarlet night is here. We've got our scarlet outfits on. We gotta go. We're heading to um, the reality. Um, I heard a lot about the show. I'm very excited to see it. Deja's cute too. Everybody say hello to Deja. <laughs> Alright, let's beat it. I am way so too dressed up and way out of my comfort zone right now. <laughs> you are. I love you. You look cute. Oh, 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 This show is interactive with the audience, so come with a great attitude and get ready to cheer. Without giving away any of the plot twists or any of the surprises that come up, I do want to show you some of their really cool stunts just so you can get a taste of what you can expect to see. While the show is choreographed, I just happen to have a feeling that some of these stunts you might not see twice every single time you go. There is an edge of competitiveness with all of the stunts between the performers. And as I said, they get the audience involved. So you have to come check out the show to see just exactly how you are involved. All these performers are simply amazing. And I cannot wait to go again to see what else they have up their sleeves. Be sure to book this as soon as you board. You don't want to miss it.
so dual reality was amazing is that a, oh i thought it was a spirit jersey i thought it was a spirit jersey it's not it's cute though oh wait no it is wait a minute okay they have spirit jerseys breaking news um anyhow the dual reality was amazing worth the time to go go see dual reality when you are sailing on virgin I never really like a cruise show that much. No, that I've never said whoa so many times. I was stressed. I thought somebody I was, so was gonna stressed. die. Uh, no, we'll be nowhere. Hey, take hey, care. <laughs> now it's time to try out a fan favorite gumbe. People who are worried about the music on the ship, um, whether it's your taste or not, I just want to let you know that we're sitting in Gumbe and listening to Jay Z. So, there you go. Did you know Gumbe is Korean for cheers? Now, that's a clue to where things are headed for this dinner. And just as a heads up, when you come to Gumbe, wear your elastic pants because you're gonna have to get rolled up out of there. The amount of food is just ridiculous. The girls and I strutted in there with our scarlet nightwear and we were ready for some fun and games. So when you come to Gumbe, come with an open palate, an open mind, and ready to have some fun. Yes! <laughs> We gotta get Erwin too. Erwin is looking fierce. Yes! 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 Work! 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 Yes! 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 There are drinking games involved. You don't want to miss that. That dog! What? Give me that dog. That dog lip! Put it in the mic. Okay, let's see how this tastes. There are pop rocks in the drink. Um, let's try it. It's a soju uh, cocktail, so it'll be strong. So we've gotten our small plates that we're gonna try. We've gotten a couple of um, the three. Um, let's give them a go. Bugak nori rice crispy rice crisps. Okay, this is what it looks like. So it's like seaweed and it has rice on it and it's crispy. Oh, it's good. I eat this. I can snack on this. Thank you. Next we got some job shay noodles, which is um, on the rice noodles and stews menu. Let's see if I can uh, get them on my chopsticks. There we go. We got it. This is delicious. Here you go. All right, next up, 
We got a kimchi and a mung bean pancake. That's really interesting. Thank you. Have a taste of the seafood corn dog here. There you go, seafood corn dog. So now we have a seafood corn dog. This one here is a seafood and scallion pancake. Oh, God. Oh, we got more. Thank you. A little bit of everything. Almost every, every, everything that I give you. I love it here. Okay. Everything is so delicious. Oh, my God. Yeah, we're, we're, we're loving it. I just hear, like, every night. <laughs> Sage want to make as vicious her every night. She's living her Korean dreams right now. I am. Kimchi stew. Some kimchi stew. Okay. We also have some sesame chicken that came by that I never even got to like try. Let's try it. Deja said it's so good. We all know what sesame chicken look like. Hmm. That chicken is delicious! Shut up! I'm gonna be full before the main course. I think that's the point. They're trying to get us full off this shit and not give us the meat. <laughs> okay. How many small plates total did you bring up? Everything. But how many is everything? That's eight. Eight. It feels like a lot more than eight, but it's only been eight plates. Who's editing this video right now, please go find the meme of Jay Versace eating a breakfast because that's me right now and the people need to know. Okay? So finally we made it to the barbecue portion of the barbecue <laughs> and to be quite honest by the time the meat came out the girls and I were about through but we saved some room so we can try out this delicious barbecue. Now I'm not going to lie to you by the time this happened your girl was real toasty and I don't even remember what that waiter said to do with these sauces but I'm just going to go ahead and throw some on there. I am for certain that this is not correct, so do not follow my lead, but whatever happened, it was good. So that's that. So all the meat has been good. Wish we had a little bit more seafood. Food, now we're just waiting for dessert. Everybody is KO. <laughs> and finally our dessert was a rice ice cream which is vegan along with these cute toppings after dinner we headed upstairs to go get some cool pictures in front of the virgin sign As per usual, we get a little sidetracked on our way to places, so we enjoyed the seesaws. <laughs> I love this ship because it is very much an adult playground. Everywhere you turn, there's something to do, touch, feel, taste, see, and you're free to be. After that, we made our way to the manor to check out the party and get some cool pictures. So on Scarlet Night, the lights in the hallway turn a shade of red. Scarlet, if you will, um, to match all of our outfits. My feet were hitting, so I went ahead and switched to some flats. I couldn't do it no more. So the girls are at Scarlet Night um, in the manor right now. We start to take pictures in the manor, and I just could not stand there any longer. I said, I'll, I'll meet y'all back down here. So I went up there. The wind from the Virgin sign upstairs where we took pictures like completely blew out my hair, so I also fixed my hair real fast. Sorry, girls. I ain't tell y'all I was fixing my hair, but <laughs> gotta get this content. <laughs> show y'all my full outfit. Sorry I don't have my heels on anymore, but it's like a jumpsuit. Cute. Going down. It fits well. Oh my god, get a shot of the boot. Hey. You love to see it. 
I met back up with the girls and it was finally time to head to the infamous pool party. Now folks, when it's time to come to this pool party, don't worry about a bikini. Just go up there and enjoy yourself. This pool party really highlighted the benefits of having no kids on board because all of the adults are just free to wear whatever they want to wear, to do whatever you want to do. If you want to jump in a pool, jump in the pool. The music, the dancers are unlimited in the things they can do because there ain't no kids. Now here's a clip of the Scarlet Night song. And then it was finally time to jump in the pool. Dresses, ties, pants, and shirts. Let's get it. The night has finally come to an end. Deja and I grabbed some late night ramen, delicious, and headed back to the room. And no, it didn't. Ew. Anyways, the ramen was good. Um, and my eyeballs are burning. I'm tired, my feet hurt. I'm ready to curl up in bed, get comfy, and that get a good night's sleep. Good. Up. Yeah, we went to the club. It wasn't quite turned. And if it's not turned, then I can't be turned. So if I can't be turned, then it's time to go to turn it, down. It probably would've got turned if we would've stayed, but it was Yeah. My, <laughs> literally, my my contacts are so dry right now. It's it's probably making me feel more sleepy because like, I would just wanna close my eyes. <laughs> but, hey, you gotta know when to say when. Uh, if we partied in the pool, got my little party out for the night. It was a lot of fun. It's been a fun day. Uh, almost feels like it was a sea day because we got so much done after getting off the boat um, and we didn't really do much in Key West but um, I enjoyed it. So, tomorrow we are going to be in Bimini at the uh, private beach club, Virgin Beach Club. I'm very excited for that and um, yeah we're back in our dark room. Um, we'll see you guys tomorrow in Bimini. Have a good night. Say bye, Deja. Bye. Oh. <laughs> bye. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, best friends. We are in Bimini. Um, but first, it's time for breakfast. <sighs> Last night seemed like it lasted like two days. Last night was so long. <laughs> we were, we tried to make it, y'all. Um, no, we made it to the club portion, so I guess. 
you're gonna have to watch her vlog about what happened at the club but um, it looked like it was gonna be fun so I'll try to make it to the club <laughs> tomorrow night tonight I don't know I'll give you one good club night here um, at least we got a couple more nights to go so we'll see but um, right now I'm meeting Alyssa upstairs in the galley for breakfast while we formulate a plan for the private island today all right so I got a bunch of stuff for breakfast this is my first like actual breakfast on board so I'm gonna show you what's for breakfast and tell you how everything tastes first up I got my um, tropical fruit bento box from bento baby <laughs> All right, and right on time, we got my favorite breakfast food in the whole world, French toast. Y'all, you gotta look at this. This is so, so pretty. Mine is Jennifer. We're all here. I'm sure Jennifer's somewhere around. Jennifer don't care about us, y'all. She is a solo traveler. She go to dinner with us, and that's about it, y'all. So y'all gonna have to catch her video to see what Jennifer up to. Hey, Jennifer. <laughs> but anyway, we're walking off the boat, right? And the first thing we see is this gigantic yacht looking at us. Wow! This is the vacation home spot for people out here in Bimini. Listen. Future husband, if you're out there, just, just can you just come equipped with the vacation home, vacation vibes home for me and you, okay? That's all. That's all I ask. It's not too much. We hopped on a tram that took us directly to the Beach Club by Virgin Voyages. We made our way to the Beach Club. They're playing Beyonce Renaissance in the background. You love to see it. Let me show you around. This private beach club boasts everything that you like about an adult resort. Multiple pools, one you can party in and one you can relax in. Beautiful white sand beaches in clear water. Guys, this is such a paradise. We hopped in the water and took some pictures as we usually do at the beach. And then we headed over to the pool party. You guys are going to get a lot of real music in this vlog because I wanted to give you the most authentic vibes possible. Let's get into it. Next, we headed over to Beach Eats where we can indulge in the free food that Virgin prepared for us. There are a couple different menus to try from and we got to do both. super impressed with the snapper it was very dry um, the pumpkin curry was really good um, and the fruit salads I got I got the watermelon jicama and the tropical fruit salad it's fruit it's good um, so I went ahead and swapped out for the ribs which they just switched on um, the menus up a little bit and I took one little step of the rib and the meat just fell right off much better much better I mean watch this Thank you. 
right off the bone. Like, you don't have to work hard. It just comes right up. We love that. And they got hummus. After we had lunch, we were all pretty tired, so we relaxed for a couple more minutes before we headed back to the ship. y'all we got jennifer she's I'm here back. I'm back. I'm she back. Back. <laughs> they lost me for a minute no, uh, what she cares about us right now um so we are back from our day at the beach club i think everybody had a great time what do you think jennifer oh it was so much fun it was nice definitely a must see yes yeah. they have the nicest spot out here for sure yes it was it was very cool very cool now we back to our ride and um we got dinner in a couple of hours, so we're gonna get dressed and showered and chill out before it's time to hit the second half of the day. I hope you guys enjoyed the beach club. One thing that I didn't get to do was the um, little beach competition that they have here. I guess there wasn't enough sign-ups or people didn't show up. I don't know, I showed up. There's nothing happening, so next time. But um, I would definitely go back again. I like the beach club, it was nice. So we are back in the room and we we're greeted with music in the room. I you know we get all like this. Hey. Mm, this is good. Mm, yeah, I definitely got a tan. Look at my face versus the rest of me. We're gonna chill out and get ready for dinner. Peace out. Okay, well, we are done hanging out in the room and we are all dressed and ready for dinner. We are headed to Extraversion, which is the elevated Italian restaurant on board. Um, I'm very excited actually. About the Italian. The girls were like, I don't know, I don't know about Italian, but I think it's gonna be really good. So let's head back there and um, enjoy some good food. I think we should get excited for this one. Come on, girl. Come in. Uh oh. <laughs> Asian, I have similar outfits this time. Hold on, let's see. The Bossy Twins at it again. Alyssa, look so cute. Ooh, Alyssa, cute. I like it that. I'm scared. But he's on dress one thing. Tonight we try out Extra Virgin, the elevated Italian restaurant on board. The vibes in here are luxurious. You definitely get the sense that this is not your Olive Garden. No offense to the Olive Garden lovers, but you dress a little nicer here. Expect to eat heavy when you come over to Extra Virgin as it is Italian and full of carbs. Pair it with a nice light drink and Perfection. If y'all want a very crisp, not too sweet, refreshing drink, uh, this one is called the Hugo. Damn, what was it called? The Hugo. It has a Saint Germain liqueur in here and sparkling wine. Trying everything from our antipasti. Um, calamari is indeed good. Put a little lemon on it, put a little sauce on it. It was really good. A plus on the calamari. Me, when I go to a restaurant that has calamari, I judge the whole restaurant based off as calamari. I always try a calamari. And it tells me everything I need to know about that restaurant. If they're cheap, if they don't clean their grease, 
If they don't use seasoning, you're gonna find out with their calamari. The beef carpaccio is very good as well. You know, I've had carpaccio on both Carnival and Royal Caribbean. And Royal Caribbean has had the best carpaccio so far. But this one's giving it a run for its money. And I don't know, man. They might, they might got Royal Caribbean on a carpaccio. Mmm. That's good. You can get some more of that. Then last, we got the meatball. We're going to compare this to the meatball at Cucina del Capitano. It is a bigger over there. But they give you like five of them here. Can I get another meatball? It's a good meatball. It's a solid meatball. You're gonna like this meatball. It's it's neck and neck with Katrina del Capitano's. No, I mean says it's not better. I think it's quite flavorful. And I like I like their cheese better over here. I'm gonna give you a glimpse of some of our entrees here, but if you want the full details be sure to look out for Vibes and Dines Extra Virgin. First impressions, let's start with the Oxtail Agnolotti. I am a big fan of Oxtail anytime I can get it, so I'm very excited to try this. That is so good. Mm. If you're a big fan of just like the hearty home taste of an oxtail, and they're pretty generous with the oxtail inside of the pasta. Delicious. You want to try it, Deja? Try little oxtail, girl. Try little oxtail. That's really good. I don't think I've ever seen oxtail in an Italian restaurant before. I, I like that. Caribbean Italian. And to top things off, we got table servings of all the desserts to try, and they didn't disappoint. That's the whiskey. This is chocolate. Oh, no, I'm sorry. How would you just say? It's pretty good. I don't like this because I think it's guava. It's pears. It's pears? Oh, yeah. yeah, it's pears. Pears. I don't like it. But the cake itself is good. Somebody's got to open it. Break it open. Go for it. Let us know how it goes, no way, like a fruity. It tastes like a applesauce. Oh, there's apples in it. Yeah, but that's like the like it has a strong applesauce taste. Pretty good. There's like baked apples in it. It has a very interesting texture because I always want to be jello, but it's not. Right? Gelatin? It has like a gelatin. It definitely has gelatin in it, but it tastes good though. It definitely has it definitely apple in there. Great extra virgin on a scale of 1 to 5. From 1 to 5, I give it a 4.5. Alyssa, scale of 1 to 5. It says 4 out of 5. The bread was good. The pasta was good. And the meatballs were good. All that's missing is like a couple salad choices. So, I'm going to give it a 4. And it, it would have been a 5. However, my steak was not cooked to my liking. It was still good. But I asked the medium well. It was like meat. It was like well. Sort of like slight medium. Still good though. Well then. I think Extra Virgin actually got some pretty decent scores from the girls. 
Um, I'm going to give you guys the breakdown of how we're going to score extra version on Vibes and Dines here. Um, I definitely wanted to get their opinion on this one because I think this is the one people have the most questions about. Everybody's done Italian, everybody's been to an Italian restaurant, what makes this one special? So I hope this video helped clarify some things for you and help you decide whether or not you want to book Extra Virgin on Virgin Voyage. Happy! Shopping. What? Shopping. What? Shopping? Yes, oh, for sure. On her tab. Hey, excuse me. <laughs> Deja is not a fan of these stairs, y'all. I feel like this is doing way too much. You feel like it's what? They're doing way too much. You got it because you got to step more than once on them. I don't hate the stairs. They're really they're chill stairs. You don't gotta work that hard. You don't got to hustle. You can take a few steps between the steps. I like it. I vote for bigger stairs. After dinner to settle our stomachs and let the carbs do their thing for the rest of the night, we explored the ship. There are so many things to, to look at, to see and to do around the ship. You just kind of have to walk around and look for it. Our next stop was going to be Pink Agave. At night, they have drinks and tapas for you to enjoy, along with some good music. So we sat down for one more cocktail and a couple more snacks before we brought it home. The next thing on our agenda was something that came as a surprise to me. Did you know that Virgin has private karaoke rooms? Well, now you do. Book it as soon as you get on board and go have some fun with your crew. Cute. Oh, very nice. Hello. Did we miss signups? Hey, hey. Catch my fly and my cocky fresh. 
I'm so reckless when I rock my Givenchy dress. Stylin'. I'm so possessive, so I rock his rock necklace. You mix that Negro with that Creole, make a Texas Bama. I like my baby hair with baby hair and afros. I'm not cause to play with you hoes. Making my way downtown, walking fast, faces passing on my homebound. <laughs> 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 Karaoke was insanely fun. Yeah, we ain't gonna be no good tomorrow with our voices, but um, go book the rooms. I didn't know you could do that on. Uh, we definitely stole somebody's room. They didn't show up though, so boop. Um, now we're headed to the manor to go party. Unlike the night before, the club was cracking tonight. The DJ was playing all the right tunes, and your girl just got a moment to rage. Ah, we missed the club scenes, didn't we, friends? So back in the room, whew, had a little, had a little rage moment in the club. We love it. We had a good time. So I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna s go to sleep now or if I'm gonna go out. Noemi is still out and about. We're just tired. Like the club like cleared out at midnight. It's so strange. Like if you would think. You'd think that the club would like stay open a little later or people, well it's not, it's open but people are not in it. Um, not a whole lot anyway so I'm trying to decide if I'm going to change my clothes and get out of this dress and go back down there or if I'm just going to call it. I don't know. But one thing I am going to call is this vlog. Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed my day in Bimini and around the ship and all that. We had a blast today. Um, the karaoke room was a great choice. Um, once again, it's something I didn't even know you could do um, on this ship until I just did some digging into the schedule. Um, karaoke, regular karaoke is fun, but when you're in a private room with your friends, your your inhibitions are lowered. Like you'll definitely sing a little louder, dance, let your hair down. You're not nervous. You know the people, and you like scream, sing into a microphone, and it's so fun. Yeah, guys. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this cruise series um, so far. I've really taken the time to get as much footage as I can. I've listened. I've heard you guys say that you guys want longer vlogs. And I've listened. I've heard you guys say you have so many questions about Virgin. And I'm trying my best to fit every single little thing in for you guys. Mama's been working hard. I, I have not put down this camera. I, this camera has died many times. The card, my SD card has gotten full so many times. This, I, this kind of stuff doesn't happen when I vlog. So mama's working hard for y'all and I just hope y'all, I hope y'all see the hard work. I hope you guys appreciate it. Um, Cause we, we got some things to do babes. I got big plans for us over here at Vacation Vibes and I wanna make them, wanna make them happen. So with that being said, Thank you for watching. Be sure to like this video if you like this video. Go ahead and subscribe. Join the fam. Join the friend group. Come on in here. We got plenty of room. The water is nice. <laughs> um, that's it. Let's see what's next up on Vacation Vibes. Bye. Good morning, best friends. 
Last day on the boat is here. We are um, in our workout gear. Hello. Going to the VHS workout, um, which I've been dying to see. Because, oh, sorry. Because <laughs> it is, uh, looks, looks hilarious to me. So we are headed downstairs right now for the VHS workout. And then we got brunch. <laughs> this room literally never gets old. So. The VHS workout was an obviously 90s inspired workout class. While it is very cheeky and ridiculous, it was actually a real workout. So come ready to sweat and bring your water. My name is Jordan. Welcome to my 137th workout video. I bet you didn't know there were 137, but there are. Now it's time to start. And for the first time, we're not using our normal workout space. Go get ready, and I'll see you in a minute. Done, warm ups done. We paused the video for a Or just be ready to laugh at yourself, like myself. Um, all right, let's all got brunch happening real soon, and um, I don't know what it is. No, it's a nice brunch. It's in the steakhouse. Oh, okay, fine. Showered, freshened up, dressed. Got a little cute little two piece. Y'all, I got this outfit from Walmart. Seven ninety eight for both pieces. I'm saying. I'm saying. I do have a Walmart haul from when I bought these outfits. I'm gonna post that for you if it's not already up by now. Sorry about that. I was supposed to post it like a month ago. <laughs> but I do want you to see the, um, the kind of stuff I found at Walmart because Walmart is kind of popping right now with the vacation vibes. Okay. Anyways, we're going to the wake. We'll see you down there. Welcome to the wake. This is version's answer to the fancy schmancy steakhouse restaurants that you can find on every cruise. Come prepared to be dressed nice and to get top-notch service here as you choose from one of their many delicious restaurant options. Shout out to Griff and Alyssa for suggesting that we go here for my birthday brunch. Great choice, guys.
I love the presentation of the um, shrimp cocktail in here. It's very pretty. Um, something to know about the mimosas. When you get the bottom of the mimosa, um, there is an actual whole menu of different drinks that you can get bottomless. And you do not have to marry the one that you choose. If you decide to start with the mimosa, then you can go get some sparkling champagne or you can get a beer. You can switch back and forth throughout the whole menu. And I love that. So I'm going to drink up because I've got some work to do. Bottomless mimosas and bottomless drinks are $25. Um, the shrimp did not stand a chance. It is already already going. So good. So good. I need another one. Hello, waiter. Checking in. The girls are talking about YouTube and Facebook and Instagram. Meanwhile, I'm about to be turned. <laughs> I'm on my second glass. Nobody cares. When I hit the floor, I don't want to hear nothing. I tried to warn them. I'm have to look for it there. Thank you for telling me. When somebody told me, I was thinking the same thing. I was like, damn, why, why haven't I been invited to Facebook groups? Because won't invite me from, my, from the page I created. Even it I has to be. Creator, I I be as soon as I switch. <laughs> <laughs> it's inception. We <laughs> don't give no about what we talking about. <laughs> she is just sipping. I'm just seeing the cup just go back, back, back. <laughs> she ain't said a word in 10 minutes, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's my birthday. No $25 left behind. <laughs> For my meal, I went ahead and got the filet mignon and a side of eggs to go with it. Honestly, best choice. Write that down. And the girls had a few other plates to try. Deja has requested an, a, a comparison of the filet mignon to the steak, which means that she just wants to have my filet mignon. I have to, this is for research purposes. This is not for research purposes. It's not for research purposes. Know. She's not researching it's anything. Tasty. She's not a scientist. <laughs> she has no hypothesis. For the law, this is good stuff to y'all she, she has no testing going on. <laughs> this is for research. <laughs> no, it's not. She's lying. Ma'am, sir. I'm sorry, I said ma'am, sir. <laughs> Let me, let me give this girl some filet mignon. Ready? Okay, guys, this is for research purposes. <laughs> That's good. Mm -hmm. I need to get the filet mignon. Okay. Anybody that's coming here, just sub out the regular steak and eggs for the filet mignon. I mean, the steak is good, but the filet mignon is definitely a lot better. I'm just saying. So, so you know what this means. For research purposes, I also have to try the steak. So, I'm bring it over here. For research, I too. You'll need a piece of this. <laughs> <laughs> we have secured the steak. Let's give it a little taste. Mm. It's good. It's steak. Tastes like steak. Filet mignon is definitely better though, for sure. Birthday drinks. I'm okay. Birthday drinks. Birthday drinks. We have to cheers for our birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. It's my birthday too. It's not her birthday. <laughs> it is not her birthday for research purposes. <laughs> That's good. I like it. And look, I'm double fisting. We got. We also have some um, rosé. That's what that is. Mm -hmm. It's like, it like sparkling. It's not sparkling. It's a rosé wine. Deja always gonna need something to sparkle. I need like. sparkly stuff. Girl, grow, grow up. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I like sparkling wine because it usually has a lot less sugar and carbs. Anyway, so I'll be healthy. Anyway, okay. she got a Versace robe at home. She's bougie. <laughs>
That's the only Versace thing I, oh, I got some Versace perfume, but that's All it. right, we're done, bye. Here we go. We we are doing a cheers. Hold on, Jennifer, you gotta do a cheers too. She's trying to film and get the cheers at the same time. We are influencers and content creators and listeners here for a good time. Amen. <laughs> cheers. cheers. Uh, why am I, it's not a shot. Yeah, gonna take us out of here. This is a classy establishment. <laughs> Everybody's attention, please. <laughs> Nobody's giving me their attention. That's fine. <laughs> I'd like to say shout out to our waiter, Randy. Where Randy at? Randy's over there. Shout, shout out, out to Randy. Randy. Woo! Woo! Best waiter on the ship. Okay. Amen. Shout out to Randy. It's my birthday. It's her birthday. Happy birthday. Have a happy birthday. Okay. We're already drunk. Shout out to They're going to kick us out of here. <laughs> <laughs> you about to kick us out of the restaurant. I'm sorry. This to go. Oh, I got a tear. Yo, I'm gonna take this to go because I'm. Yeah, I'm gonna take it to go. Oh, drinks to go. go. She's not taking her. Actually, you know what? Ooh, I'm about to pour it in here. Watch this. Oh, oh, mega mimosa. Oh. Watch how she do mimosas. Boom. It's called a light to skin go mimosa. mimosa. There we go. It's a light skin mimosa. It's the perfect hey. mimosa right there. Right there it is. <laughs> All right. Have a good day now. Bye, Randy. Bye, Randy. Get some rest. And our super waiter Randy indeed had some delicious desserts lined up for us. This is a crepe cake and it was so good. Here are a couple of the other desserts that we had around the table. Everything was amazing. Now we head out of the wake finally as we shut down the restaurant for brunch and we head just one floor up to the dock house. Cheers! Shout out to the ladies that be drinking old fashioned. Woo! And the mimosa ladies. <laughs> the dock house is in the aft of the ship on deck six where you can watch the wake and get some sun and maybe sober up a little bit. Vanessa is done. Vanessa is done. No. She only had about eight mimosas. No, I didn't. How maybe many like mimosas you had? You had eight mimosas, I maybe think. Seven. Whatever, you slurring, it's okay. I'm not. Yes, you are. <laughs> Even though we were a little toasty, we did decide to go around the ship and try to get some nice pictures for Instagrams, as a good influencer would. Vibes in this bitch, twerk a little something for this shit. We gonna take some shots and we gonna have some thoughts. <laughs> I rounded up the girls for a group picture to use for the thumbnail, as well as memories for my birthday. I'm so proud of us for coordinating all of our pink suits. Shout out to that nice lady for taking them for us. And here are some of the pictures. We're back in the purple hallway, so you know what that means. We must be going somewhere. Uh, our last dinner of the, the cruise. We're going to the test kitchen tonight. I'm very excited to see what goes on in there. And I'm gonna do the whole experience. I'm gonna get the drinks up here with the food and give you the whole rundown. By the way, for people who are wondering about the, the um, not the drink package, but the bar tab, $300 is, is some work to put in to get to in a four, on a four day cruise, just FYI. I still got a ways to go, so I'm just like, take my money, mm -hmm. take it, so. 
All right, best friends, so here we go. Fancy dinner at the Test Kitchen. This is our last specialty restaurant of the cruise. Once again, all of the restaurants are included, so you don't have to worry about paying a premium. Now, if you like the Hocus Pocus of the Alchemy Bar on Carnival, you are definitely gonna like the concept of the Test Kitchen on Virgin. They gave us a tour of the kitchen and the rest of the restaurant and brought us by the sommelier area where you could smell all the smelling notes that would be put in a wine. After that, we got a quick tour of the galley. All right, this is where everything happened. Our main galley, our chef's appetite, everything happened after the table. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hi. 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 You catch me full in put in action, but I like it. <laughs> we are ready for you guys. It's your last dinner, yeah. but a short time. You have to you have to come longer, please. So next next time, an extra portion half. I love you. Thank you for this. After a quick tour of the restaurant, we headed over to our seat, where we would begin our six course dinner. Now, something to know is that you can pair your dinner with a wine flight, a beer flight, or a cocktail flight, and this I absolutely recommend. It makes the dinner that much better. It completely elevates your experience. Now, I do have a full review. If you wanna see that, leave a comment down below, but for now, I'm just gonna give you a short version of the kinds of food that we try and the wines that paired with them. All right, so Jennifer and I both decided to do the wine pairings for our dinner. Our first wine for the first course is a Sauvignon Blanc. It's light, floral, and airy, so um, they give you just a little bit, but just enough to get you through the course, which I like because I've done a wine pairing before, and when they give you the whole glass, you're gonna be on the floor. Let's do a little swirl action. And then we're gonna try to um, pick out the smelling notes. But she already told us it was floral. Yeah, I just smell floral. floral. Yeah. yeah. It tastes strong. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to taste like that. <laughs> it's a good wine. So let's go with our first course, which is the mushroom course. So I guess it makes sense that it would be floral if we're gonna go for plant base. No, get your own. <laughs> she didn't want to do the research pairing. purposes. Here we go. Where's she going? Where's she research doing? Purposes. Where's she going with the wine? This smells very interesting. It's strong. Is it Sauvignon Blanc? Good wine. It's pretty good. Yeah. Research purposes. I gotta wash my I gotta wash my glasses. Of course, it's a mushroom. To be more specific, it's a custard that is made out of first on top. It's a portobello powder. It comes along with a small Japanese honshi meiji mushrooms that you can see over there with the uh, marigold flowers. They're absolutely edible. Uh, and you have a few slices of a, a sardine crostini. Say, take a slice of crostini, put a little bit of mushroom on top, spread it, and enjoy with your drinks. All right? Okay. Cheers. Thank you. Look at this. I don't like. See what I don't like mean, We're not gonna get full. <laughs> <laughs> Never fear, guys. This is not an actual mushroom. It's very cute. It looks like a very cute cartoon mushroom. But watch this. It's custard, and you spread it on your bread. So let's do that. You don't have a TikTok. Y'all got a TikTok page. Mmm, that's delicious. That's very delicious. For the girlies that are afraid of this dish for what it looks like, do not be. And the marigold flowers are edible. It tastes like a flower. If you're still here watching, I just want to say thank you for that. And I also wanted to remind you that my channel memberships are officially open. Become a best friend today by hitting the join button beneath this video. And then I can show you some bloopers. Come on, guys. It'll be fun. Three. There we go. Thank you so 
You have to be a foodie to appreciate this restaurant. If you are a picky eater, you cannot, you're not gonna like anything here. But the foodie in me is like amazed at the presentation and like just the quality of this food. Right. This dish has three main sources of salt the seaweed, the scum. This is what I came for. I love scallops. I love scallops. Give me the scallops. It's the, the spoon I'm assuming is for the scallops. I always miss it. Wait. <laughs> pour it faster so she can't get no footage. <laughs> It's coming on the peel of a beetroot puree with a raspberry vinegar and perfect, perfectly pickled blueberries in the Cabernet vinegar. As a side garnish, we are serving for you potato pavé. It's a thin sliced potato that has been pressed and cooked together with butter and garlic. Powder. The powder made out of bacon, you heard that right? And here it works and what, uh, what we are doing right now, so my colleague is placing a wish of a dark Belgian chocolate. Will not be first this is chocolate? Yes, it is chocolate. This Belgium with chocolate the on top of our really sauce. It melts. Oh wow! Oh my god! Yeah. This is so good. Yeah. Oh my god! 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 So I would have never thought to eat beef, blueberries, and chocolate together, but it works. First of all. That steak is so tender. I got a nice pairing of the steak, the uh, chocolate, and the blueberry. Watch me cut this one. All right, let's get another bite of this tender, delicious, sweet, and savory steak. Mm. Mm. So I'm understanding what they've done here. Things that pair well with the red wine, with the Cabernet. Blueberries pair well, really well with the Cabernet. Chocolate pairs really well with the Cabernet. And steak pairs, pairs really well. So it would make sense that those flavors all come together in a meal as well. Let's top it up with the wine. This has definitely been my favorite part so far. Um, this is the main. Oh, this cab is so good. It's like chocolate on it. It's some sort of. I don't know what it is. You can taste the blueberry in the cabernet. If you are a foodie and a wino like your girl, this is where you need to be. This is the spot. Absolutely. We got like seven minutes before it's time for the Untitled Dance Char dance Party Show Ooh. thing. And we have another wine here our friend Artem has brought us. Um, can I guess what this is? Is it a Moscato? Oh, uh, you're, 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 you're not wrong. This is a dessert wine, that's right. So, but this wine is called Sakai. Sakai is being called the wines, dessert wines of late harvest from Hungary. This one is a combination of three grapes. This one is harvested in late 2018. This is a perfect tasty. I'm okay. gonna pair it with a uh, chocolate lime to cake. And for you, I have something to Okay. So something to note here, the dessert for that night was a chocolate cake that had both coconut and almonds in it. And as a lot of you might know, those are two things that I can't eat. So they had a mandarin sorbet that I got instead and it was delicious. This is a really cute little baby. It's so cute. It's a little baby. Oh, baby. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, pinchy, pinchy. <laughs> Oh, let me try. I thought I like sweet, but that's Let's sweet. See how well this pairs really with. Sweet, but it's good, but it's sweet. Really Maybe it'll be different with the cake, Ooh, but it's like too sweet. This, this tastes just that like might be my the sorbet. sorbet. I, mean, some bread? I mean, it goes hand in hand with the sorbet because it tastes just like it. So, mm, you, you want to try the sorbet? It's not a one, y'all. It's not a one. Okay. Mm. <laughs> we gotta beat it. We are currently hustling through the ship to get to the Untitled Dance Party show thing because I refuse to miss it. We're already late, so hopefully they'll let us in. I'm like, oh, the doors are still open. There we go, back on that. We're good to go. So while we hype up the dancers for the Untitled Dance Party show thing, I just wanted to let you know that this show is one of my favorites. 
a lot of great music, a lot of surprises, which I'm not going to give them all away, but I want to show you some of my favorite bits and pieces. Hey! International waters. In line for the bar. Drunk girls. <coughs> Seen here in a pack, recognized by their high pitched sounds, all weather sparkle tops and mini skirts. They are vulnerable to suffering in heels and feature clutches and iPhones where most humans would have hands. <coughs> and finally, the rare gem of the dance floor. The older person who doesn't give a fuck. Don't give a dance for the fucking Because this is their fucking vacation. Fun fact, I love this song. I love to teach it in my soul cycle classes, so I was so hyped that they opened the show with this. Yes, you heard that right. That was the hokey pokey into the wobble. Amen. Okay. Anyway, y'all, I have the stripper heels on tonight. It's the last night in the club. club. In the club. Got my silver on. I got my back out. I can't. Got my back out. I cannot. Yes, you can. Hold on, let me show you. Hey. Hey. Hey! Hey, vlogger! Think about these stripper shoes? You can run in the balls. <laughs> oh, Lord. Please don't fall. I can't stop. <laughs> After the stripper shoe shenanigans in the hallway, we took it down to the manor where I had to just have some fun in the mirrored hallway one more time before the cruise is up. Now, this was our last night in the club and it was so much fun. People were out there actually dancing, which that is always such a good sight to see in a club. Wouldn't you agree? Not just people posted up on the walls. Yeah, 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 I agree. 
So now you might be wondering, but Vanessa, where are all the black people hanging out at tonight? Well, let me show you. done it all we have experienced virgin voyages we did it team wow a whole almost a whole year i've been waiting to come on aboard this ship and try all the things and and let you know what's going on and answer all your questions answer my questions and experience all the things that maybe seem like a gimmick but it's real life it's not a gimmick and it's amazing and that's the toilet but listen one thing i haven't done that I've done on every other cruise is had a pizza up until now. As our last stop tonight, we made it over to the pizza place. Major trying to be cool and tripped on the way out the bed. <laughs> oh my lord, oh I wish y'all saw that. <laughs> Oh, she tripping back there. Okay, anyways, I got a pepperoni pizza. Oh, now wait a minute. Now, why are the pepperonis over there? No, they are on the crust. Where's your pepperonis? Let me see. Oh, fine. Look at my pepperonis. <laughs> anyway, okay, let's try it. Let's, right, let's, let's give this pizza a try and see what they talking about. okay all right you heard it here first guys virgin pizza is good a plus i wish i would have like spent the time to get like a especially made pizza or something not just pepperoni but pepperoni is my go-to comparing it to other cruise lines this is pretty good this is what i wish carnival would have been on a mardi gras but it was playing games it was acting funny it was acting silly on a mardi gras this is good good pizza that's it. That's all. Good night, y'all. We are out for the night. The vlog is not over yet, though. We still have debark day. It's going to be a little different here on Virgin. morning guys debarkation day is here it is so sad it is almost 10 o'clock which I love that um, you can get off the ship a lot later than normal um, on other ships you can kind of take your time in the morning we get about 30 minutes before it's time for everybody to be off the ship so we stopped in the galley to eat I had this bright idea that we were going to have breakfast in razzle dazzle this morning because you can book breakfast in any of the uh, special uh, restaurants even on the last morning um, however we uh, slept past our alarm and we missed our reservation it was like over an hour ago <laughs> so we're back in the galley one last time I'm gonna have to hit up Razzle Dazzle last time I'm very sad because I wanted to hit up all seven restaurants for you guys um, or six six restaurants for you guys um, I only got to five um, but that means I gotta come back right so Having my breakfast here one last time, just some bacon, eggs, and French toast, and then we're headed off. Thank you guys so much for watching um, this vlog series. I hope you guys enjoyed every last bit of it. I hope that I answered all the questions that I could. I know there's some things that I couldn't get to, and um, again, I'm just gonna have to come back and try again. Drop any any of your comments about this whole vlog series down below, and um, let's chat in the comments. 
I'll see you guys later. Bye. And just like that, we've made it to the end of another series. I want to take a moment to thank all of the ladies, Alyssa, Noemi, Jennifer, and Deja for coming out for my birthday cruise. This was definitely the, a trip that I will never, ever forget. Thank you so much to Virgin Voyages for showing us a wonderful time. This is not sponsored, but I would definitely, definitely recommend this to anyone who is planning a girl's trip, a vacation, a solo cruise, whatever. This might be the cruise line for you. Ahoy, sailors. Next time on Vacation Vibes, I answer all of your burning questions about virgin voyages. So if you still have questions that need answers, drop them down below. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Tomorrow's all. Oh.